Well, good morning, guys, from Island Park, Idaho. Just came over from Bozeman last night. It was about a two hour drive through pretty much pitch black darkness and rain, but today is a beautiful day and this weekend's supposed to be really nice in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, we'll be spending two nights here at this hotel. It's the Spring Hill Suites, which is an amazing hotel. Honestly, I don't even know why it's even here. It, f it feels to me like Marriott was like looking at Google Maps and it's thinking, all right, where's the best place to put this hotel? Um, uh, here, <laughs> right next to this little river. If some of you have been watching my channel for a while, you'll know I love nature and going to exotic places. Yeah, we'll be spending about three days here. So we'll take you along each day. There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See All right, I'm sure the views are bound to get even better than this even though I could stay here forever So let's actually head into the park now, which is There's that a lot one. of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Dreams are not the same for me Standing by the shore While you're on the open sea Cannot take this anymore Stopping here to get some snacks and drinks for the trail so we don't Starve. We're back in Montana, by the way. This is West Yellowstone. This should be good, right? Gotta attract some bears, you know? You know what I mean? Maybe some moose. Hi. Do you need a map or a guide? Sure. Okay, just the $35 vehicle pass? Okay. Is the trail to, uh, what's the name of that falls? Which one? Uh, Ferry. Ferry Falls? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ferry Falls is open. So the only road that's closed is between Canyon and Tower, but the Canyon area all is open. Uh -huh. Yep, the big falls are. hear them snort. Can't get too close. What a beautiful place. Guys, there's more coming right down the road. looks very clear and deep by the way if the park service catches you stepping off this path it is a huge fine so don't step off the path if you come here all right next up on the agenda is a six mile hike to Ferry Falls Let's see here's a trailhead map Looks like somewhere up there. I wanted to do a hike coming here to Yellowstone and this is the one that popped up when I was searching what to do. Obviously you can go to all the different stops and like lookouts, there's geysers all over the place here in Yellowstone. But uh, if you really wanna see something that normal people don't see, you gotta walk. I believe it's 2.5 miles that away and 2.5 miles back onward and upward, although it's really just flat. Yes, winter's coming, baby. Can't wait. You can tell a lot of these trees were burnt 
from some kind of fire in the past. But you know, fires are a part of a forest. A forest grows, it burns, and then there's a rebirth. What an awesome place. I'm not quite sure if it is the height of like Niagara Falls, but it's it's pretty tall. Um, it's definitely one of the best falls to see when you come to Yellowstone. And it's even better because there's like hardly anybody here, so it's very tranquil. I'm thinking if I should take a dip or not. I don't know guys. It's kind of disgusting to me. I don't think I'm gonna do it. This looks literally disgusting. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Well guys, this is probably the best view I'm going to see in this park. It's not the most mountainous, but it has like 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 a certain flair charm to it. I am hungry though, so I'm gonna run down this mountain here. If I don't slide all the way down, crack open a nice can of Mexican Coke, eat a sandwich, and enjoy this beautiful scenery. What a view. I got this turkey sandwich from that supermarket before, so I'm gonna enjoy this view and uh, chow this down. Nothing better than eating in nature. I should be a spokesperson for Mexican Coke. <laughs> That will do it from Fairy Falls. Now, off to Old Faithful. Okay, and we just made it here to a very empty Old Faithful parking lot. One thing that is excellent about coming in October is the weather is beautiful and there's no crowds at all. It's hit or miss with the snow sometimes, as a local on the plane last night said. Sometimes there'll be a lot of snow, but if you can get lucky with weather like this, it's amazing. There's no crowds, it's very peaceful, and you can see everything without a bunch of people in the way. Plus. Two people on the plane yesterday said this is the best month of the year to come in general. So let's go see Old Faithful. The time right now is 4.57 and the guy that we just passed said it's going to erupt again at 5.24. So we got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes till it erupts to check out this area a little bit. Oh no. Yep, that's a big find there. The price? Your life. Nothing like a bunch of intellectual homo sapiens standing around a pile of rock waiting for some steam to come out of the earth. <laughs> it is very cool though. I mean, I waited like 30 minutes for it, so it's one of the uh, best things to see here and yeah, it's worth to come see, especially if you can get a seat.
Okay, one last stop for today, and it's at, where am I at? Uh, okay, we're at the West Thumb Glacier, West Thumb, we're in West Thumb. There's supposed to be some geysers in a gigantic lake over here, and the sun's going down, so maybe it'll be a nice picturesque view. That's what it's called. It is Halloween in two days. Very eerie, spooky place. The sulfur in the air here is everywhere. Everywhere stinks like rotten eggs. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, and as I head down here on this nice boardwalk, Yellowstone Lake comes into view. It's a pretty, pretty large lake goes quite a distance out there. Over there you can see some mountains and uh, there's some guy right there. <laughs> Very peaceful place. It's nice to have some fresh air and nobody around in the middle of nowhere in the least populous state in the United States. Wyoming. Looks like he's another photographer. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here as I'm running out of battery. Thank you guys for watching and catch you on the next one. Now time for me to head in this really stinky bathroom. Ugh.